So away they go, and straight into the lead we have Pete Rogerson, car 234, he moves in. The numbers to watch are number 351, Barry Lee, and it's getting a bit hectic out there. 234, though, clearly away there, Pete Rogerson in uh, second place, trying to push his way through. We have Barry Lee already going up on the inside. Barry, one of the visitors here, and he's moved into the lead most impressively from the middle of the grid. Time even for a saucy wave from Barry Lee, and... Uh, and he's smoking it up in front there. Barry Lee leads it. Second place there, still Pete Rogerson. And a whole big battle going on for third place as the traffic starts piling up there. In fact, it looked like Cyril Wilcox from Market Trading. Yes, car 219's moved into third place. So this is Barry Lee, the four times world champion, one of the real superstars in this sport, and indeed the only full-time pro in the business. And uh, Philip, well, Barry Lee looks in pretty good form, doesn't he? Yes, well, he, he had the advantage of starting towards the beginning of the front of the grid. And of course, in his next heat, he'll have to start much further back. So he's taking full advantage of it at the moment. Well, Barry was indicating that he wasn't too happy with his car, of course, Ford Escort 1700. He was misfiring earlier on, but it's certainly firing on all cylinders now. Five laps to go. Second place is Pete Rogerson. In third place, we have Cyril Wilcox from Market Drayton, so the order not really changing, although the battle really is for third place, because now we have a look down and see that Pete Stevens from Birmingham is moving up, challenging hard for third place. There's the battle for third place. You saw just roaring under our commentary box. Clearly Barry Lee in the lead. Second place, Rogerson, but third place. There's the battle there. 2-4-2 two, two is uh, the challenger. That's Pete Stevens from Birmingham. And uh, who is it? Cyril Wilcox, indeed, who's holding on. Still two laps to go. Wilcox holding third place under some pressure from Strevis. Trevor Shaw is in there. He was second in the world last year, but he's had some hard work trying to work his way through the traffic here this afternoon. Lee going through with a lap to go. Rogerson is second, still holding on. Cyril Wilcox in Pete Stevens in. Trevor Shaw back in uh, fifth, sixth place. We have Paul Grimer. But Barry Lee has winning this, uh, won this heat with Consumities. He goes over the line. Second place, it is going to be Rogerson. Third place, Wilcox holding on. Stevens is fourth. Trevor Shaw is fifth. Paul Grimer is sixth. Those are the placings in this the second heat here. Barry obviously very happy with that uh, win, as we mentioned, he wasn't too happy with the car, he said a bit misfiring, but, uh, well, no troubles there at all, and Barry looking, well, just a little relieved, perhaps, to get a win under his belt. The hot rod final, 30 laps, 20 starters, clutch start for the Compomotive Burton Race of Champions. A clutch start this time, two southern drivers, top of the grid, uh, Colin Facey, car 14, he's there on the inside, left of pitcher, and Barry Lee, four times world champion, 3-5-1 on the outside. Their grid position is determined by their race results in the qualifying heats, and away they go, 30 laps, remember. And it is Colin Facey who gets to the corner first. Barry Lee's tucked in behind him there, and some shunting and banging going on in third and fourth positions. But it's the two Speedworth drivers who get away, and the field sorts itself out in the back there. No real damage, though, over on the third corner, we've had a bit of trouble. As Colin Facey and Barry Lee, now we'll see as they go past here. We've got some trouble, one of the cars is backing off just in front of them. That was a bit dicey. Just missed them there. So Facey and Lee are the ones up front in third place there is car 242 that's pete stevens from the midlands from birmingham and it's pete stevens 242 in third place it's making the southern superstars really pull out all the stops here tremendous battle between facey and lee lee and pete stevens is in there dicing as well and we really have some piece of hot rod racing here averaging around 60 miles an hour, remember, around this uh, super smooth Hensford asphalt uh, surface, and Pete Stevens is going through on the inside of Colin Facey. Barry Lee has taken the lead. Stevens saw his opportunity. He's in the second place now. And well, the Midland fans were a bit worried about these southern superstars, but uh, Pete Stevens there is really getting up on them. 25 laps to go. They've done five. 
Barry Lee leads it, and we're beginning to get among the back markers, and that's where the fight could start. So we've got uh, Barry Lee, and he's moving up now towards the first of the back markers. He's having to lap, and that's Bill McLennan from the Litchfield in car 167. This is where the trouble could start because we've got a back marker, Philip Bond. Barry Lee's got to get around Bill uh, Litchfield here, hasn't he, Phil McLennan? Yes, he has, and, uh, but he's, there's nobody better than him, and of course, Pete Stevens as well. I'm very pleased with the way Pete's going, and in fourth place, um, behind Colin Pacey, who's in third, is John Edwards, and he's coming through very quickly. He might get on terms with these four at the front, these three at the front. Well, Barry Lee's got past the back marker, so too now is Pete Stevens and Colin Pacey trying to go through now. And they really are getting in a little bit of a jumble there. Paul Staines moving out to allow Barry Lee to go through. Remember, these cars are highly tuned saloon cars. You're not allowed to shunt or nudge or push. It really is clean, cut, crisp uh, car racing. 1,700cc. Barry Lee it is, who's getting a bit clear of Stevens as Stevens runs into some trouble with some traffic. So too is Colin Facey back in third place, but Barry Lee is unaware of the drama behind him. There's the trouble, and uh, we've got Colin Facey in among that lot. John Edwards is on terms now with Colin Facey. He's only just behind him, so he's in fourth place. There's Barry Lee, and look at Lee, he's very confident. Back down the field, there's Facey, and he's just gone through Past the back marker into third place. The back marker he passed there was uh, Ray Goddard from Birmingham. Barry Lee doesn't seem to be losing ground. In fact, uh, Philip Bond, he seems to be gaining in contestability. I think Pete Stevens is just losing touch a little. Yes, maybe. Uh, I probably Barry was keeping a little bit back, but there again we've got two back markers they'll be coming up to very shortly. And let's see, it just depends on how the two drivers, which line they choose. Some drivers will move out for them, others just will not move. So we just see that Barry is able to get past these two back markers. Barry Lee, he has now got ten laps to go, so he's kicking for home, soaring around the outside of one back marker. There's coming into the bottom corner here. Going, of course, in a clockwise direction. The blue flag is out, we can see there, so the back markers are being worn. The blue flag, which says uh, give way, we just spotted in our picture. The back markers being worn, and the big guns are booming. There's Lee, and he's going past their car, 08, and. Uh, that indeed is Mick Phillips from Birmingham. And Barry Lee really seems to have another gear at the moment. He's in amongst those back markers, really like a cat among the pigeons. And that was some tremendous uh, manoeuvring there. John Reed from Northampton was car 145. Really uh, moving over to let Barry Lee step up his lead. And Barry is now, well, he's still that 10 lengths clear of car 242. Pete Stevens really is dri driving a gallant race here, keeping the Midland flag flying, and we wonder where is uh, Colin Facey. He's back behind a couple of back markers. Just going through there was Colin Facey. He's in third place, and these positions haven't changed. And now, really, the crowd here at Hensford, I'm beginning to wonder this Facey back in third place, but he's a long way behind the leaders, and he's got two back markers to circumnavigate. There they are, before he can get back on any kind of terms. Five laps to go. We're really approaching the final stages. And Barry Lee it is, four times world champion from Essex, former Speedway rider. There he is. He really has carved a great niche in this sport of hot rodding. Barry Lee leads it. He hasn't really been troubled, although Pete Stevens has hung on well. And you can see there, Pete Stevens from the Midlands still chasing hard. Two laps to go. Can he possibly get up? Of course, uh, very sure of himself, a confident driver. He's on his last lap now, 440 yards to go to the chequered flag and the Combo Motive Burton's Race of Champion Prize for the Southern Invader, Barry Lee. And now, although Pete Stevens is hung on well, he's going to take it in a canter. Barry Lee wins, second place Stevens. Where is the third place driver? There he is there, Colin Clay 
Barry, congratulations. You made it look very easy. Nothing's very easy when you've got the class of cars in this form of racing now, Nick. Honestly, it's very hard. Yeah, I must say, Pete Stevens never let you get away, did he? Well, Pete's one of my best buddies, and, you know, he was there all the time. When there was that accident on the first corner, I thought, Christ, there might be a bit of oil. And I happened just to let off a little bit to look at the track, and Pete was right with me, and I just had to go all the way. I know that, as a professional, you must feel a bit of pressure on you, don't you? Because uh, surely everyone will say, well, you should win everything. Well, when you say I'm a professional, yes, I was one of the first professionals into it, but there's a hell of a lot of them now that are professionals at it. It is one of the best, you know, oval sort of racing. It's better than anything apart from bullfighting. And now the next thing for you is getting that world title back, presumably. No, the next thing for me is tonight at Wisbeach, which is 100 miles up the road, and I've got to go.